And welcome once again to Technology Man, and we are watching the Javelin come in as the Invictus celebrations continue in Star Citizen. This is the main event, this is the fleet display, this is all the new ships coming in. Uh, the Javelin is a, a beast of a ship, and it's basically the flagship. We'll get down close to it in a minute, but uh, let's take a moment to watch this amazing display. The Aegis Javelin is a destroyer utilised by the United Empire of Earth Navy. Designed as a modular spacecraft, the UEN could make major conversions to the Javelin for different roles rather than constructing individual specialised capital ships. Javelins are used as convoy escorts, fleet support, orbital fire suppression, reconnaissance in force and fast interception missions. Surplus Javelins have been sold on the civilian market ship features a total of five decks, each with a variety of crew positions and areas to explore and utilize. It has four S4 power plants. It has four S4 coolers. Uh, it has four shield generators and an array of weapons as we can see here. So those weapons include seven manned ATA turrets, uh, 14 M9A laser cannons, or 14 Revenant ballistic gatlings. It has six manned ATA turrets, 
with 12 M9A laser cannons. It has two remote STS turrets, four Gatling cannons on those. And for missiles, it has two S-12 Desolator anti-capital ship torpedo launchers. They contain 32 size 12 torpedoes. Check out this huge beast of a machine. Off she goes. You can see the fleet travel around above Hurston, above Microtech, and above Area 18, I believe. And you should be able to check it out every 20 minutes or so as it moves around throughout Invictus Week. And as I leave you with this amazing fireworks display, I hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, please give us a like and subscribe. If you didn't like it, give me a thumbs down. If you feel so inclined, leave some comments in the comments below with any feedback or anything you'd like me to cover in future videos. Until next time, take care.